An Indian Air Force C-130J aircraft carried out a successful night vision goggles aided landing at an advanced landing ground in the eastern sector. The Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Ali Sabri has said that as a responsible neighbor, Sri Lanka will not allow anyone to harm India's security. During the 7th edition of ongoing joint exercise Shakti, the Indian and French army shared expertise in jungle survival techniques and survival in the mountains for self-preservation. Indian Coast Guard has taken delivery of two upgraded Dornier 228 aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics. Bharat Electronics Limited is showcasing its capabilities at the Black Sea Defence and Aerospace Exhibition being held in Romania. India-UK Defence Equipment Subgroup and Industry Oversight Working Group meetings were held in New Delhi. Munitions India Limited has secured a contract to supply 80,000 units of 120 mm high explosive mortar shells and 50,000 units of 125 mm high explosive tank ammunition to the Czech Armed Forces. Indian Air Force Chief has inaugurated its first ever emergency medical response system of the Indian Air Force at Command Hospital Air Force in Bangalore. Russia has integrated its Su-30 SM-2 fighter jet with two R-37M long-range air-to-air missile that has a range of 300 km and a speed of Mach 6. Maldives has said that both India and China have agreed to cooperate in facilitating payments for imports in their respective currencies instead of the US dollar. The French Directorate General of Armaments has announced the successful first evaluation launch of the upgraded ASMPAR medium-range air-to-surface supersonic nuclear missile from Rafale aircraft. The upgraded version boasts a range of about 500 km and a top speed of up to Mach 3, and is equipped with the new 300 kiloton thermonuclear warhead. The officials of Aeronautical Development Agency have confirmed that the TED-BF will feature cutting-edge fifth-generation technologies, mirroring those under development for the AMCA, that will ensure its technological relevance for decades to come. One key feature is the incorporation of smart data fusion from multispectral sensors, that will allow for superior threat identification location jamming and decoy deployment against a wider range of adversaries. Even as TED-BF remains in production to meet the needs of a potential third Indian aircraft carrier, the TED-BF's advanced features will keep it at the forefront of aerial combat. While the American F-414 engine is set to power the Tejas Mark II program, it wasn't always the first choice of the Indian Air Force, as it favored the European Eurojet TJ-200 engine, that powers the Eurofighter Typhoon. However, the Aeronautical Development Agency chose the F-414 engine on price factor, as General Electric offered a more cost-effective option. Currently, 16 F-414 engines are being delivered to propel Tejas Mark II prototypes through ground and flight testing, followed by location production of these engines within India, but any export of aircraft equipped with the F-414 engines will necessitate export clearance from the United States. Overruling opposition from defence scientists, the Indian government is proceeding with implementing the recommendations of a high-powered committee to revamp the DRDO. The DRDO headquarters has set up an overseeing committee, that will ensure review and implementation of the proposals, with a deadline set for 31 August. The DRDO Reforms Committee had also suggested to set up a Defence Technology Commission, which would look after major technology development projects. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.